Hey guys, today we're doing my dining room and this is going to go a lot faster. We're gonna get this done in one day. So I'm trying to record little bursts of it as I go because I don't want this to be a two-parter. Hopefully it can stay under 14 minutes and there's no floors in this, so we're just gonna be vacuuming today. And that's gonna save so much time. Thank you, baby Jesus. I do have to do some organization today along with the cleaning. You guys will see that. So you're just gonna see that, how I clean my antique wood pieces and how I clean the floor and baseboards in here and um, I don't know, little things like that. You might see when I show you stuff, my hands are purple. I thought I had gloves. I got my hair color mixed and everything and I didn't have any gloves. So I just didn't care. I put it on with my bare hands. So if you see purple when I show you guys what I'm using, that's why. Okay, we already got the blinds down. I'll show you guys eventually when I go upstairs and actually put the blinds in that process because I get new subscribers every day. Going down here, I just wanted to show you how adorable is this. She is basking in the sun. It's so cute. All right, so. These curtains, I feel like this is silly that I'm holding this on the tripod. Let me just. When I clean them, I take them down, I lay them across the dining room table, and I shot back at them. The dry cleaners near my house will not dry clean them because he doesn't like it when two materials are like that, like two different colors, and the blue can bleed into the gold. So they won't dry clean them. So silly. So, so silly, but I don't want them to ruin them because they don't make these curtains anymore. So it is just is what it is. So those are just cleaned. So all I have to do is clean the windows and then when the curtains are done, rehang them. That is some um, extra flooring from the di di living room that's gonna be put on the floor in here. And let's see, we're gonna start, we're gonna start here at this why isn't it focusing? Buffet. This I need to mail back to the national consumer people. I am not, if you're like interested in like recording all your groceries and doing surveys and stuff, they give you points and then with the points you can buy stuff out of their catalog. I mean like I did it for a few years, I just don't have time for it anymore. So in this thing, just don't want me to put this back, we have a bunch of weird random stuff. I don't know how. I'm just going to pull everything out. I think I'm probably going to keep most of the stuff in here. This is like, I don't know why there's a random plastic bag. Holiday stuff. I actually might donate that because, yeah, this is like holiday stuff. How fun is that? Okay. <laughs> this I'm still waiting to get framed. Um... And then I just bought these, I think on like a clearance at Target for like parties and stuff. I got a white one too. But yeah, it's just like a mishmash of stuff. Babies, you're going to have to leave the room. So there's something crazy going on over here. I put all these chairs to keep them out of here because they're just not listening. Ugh. This is where we keep all our games. For game night, we play game night a lot. Mostly, I can't, there's not really, I don't want to get rid of this. It sounds like such a hoarder thing to say, but we had like a Labor Day luau, and this is like my pimp goblet. <laughs> I should throw it out as honestly a dollar. Um, okay, I have to see what I can purge. Let's just get down there. Okay, this hot mess is organized. I put all the holiday stuff there that I had left. There's some Christmas stuff and some Christmas rags and then some Thanksgiving stuff that doesn't fit elsewhere. I might have room to put some other stuff. This is our like plastic party stuff, if that makes sense. And then up here I have some kid plates because when my nieces and nephews or my friends with kids come over and I have like my nice china out, I'm like, oh, look, you get a Barbie plate. And before anyone's like, well, you better get used to that because when you have kids, I don't have kids. Okay, so let's not even go there. I'm well aware that kids break shit, okay? But if they're not my kids, I don't want them breaking my shit, all right? Okay, we're good. Let's keep in mind, I worked with kids for 10 years, so I'm well aware they'll break stuff. I'm well aware I won't be eating off my china for a long time once kids are around. But when they're not my kids, I don't want them to break my shit. All right, so here's all our games. These are two games from when I was a kid that I held on to because I was, I don't know, 
I guess I was a game hoarder. Anyway, so, and then here's some other games we have. I'm going to get rid of this. I made it from the Dollar Tree like four years ago. And it's cute, but I don't really use it. I don't think I can donate it. It looks much prettier on camera. It's just like beat the hell up in person. Yeah. All right. And I think this stuff's going to go pretty much back in the drawer once I clean it out. This needs to go upstairs. This is for Amber's scrapbook with her first birthday pictures. I guess my dogs have scrapbooks. Get over it. Um, yeah, so I just need to put it back in. Oh, yeah. My flamingo pimp goblet. I will get rid of it. All right, now we have this buffet. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be the worst. I purposely, like... I usually do down here every three weeks, but I've been like, no, I'm gonna do spring cleaning, if you can see that dust. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna go through all the drawers. I feel like these chairs are in the way. It's gonna make it hard to show you guys, but um, these, if, if you didn't watch my home tour, um, this was my grandma's antique furniture. It was an antique for her, but, ugh, okay. These are from couponing and they were clearance, so they're basically free. I'm saving them for next Christmas before going cruelty free, obviously. Um, all right. Anyway, this is holiday mishmash. Okay, y'all are y'all are gonna be like, what? Why are you keeping? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with your life? Okay, so this little doodad. I used to bury stuff in our backyard when I was little. <laughs> I would I would bury random stuff. And uh, my dad was doing yard work one day about and like I think it was like 2009. He was like, "What on earth?" And he was like, "He I guess he figured it was something I buried. It probably was. Um, it's a styrofoam frog. So he put it in my shoe because at the time maybe it was 2008. I don't know. At the time we were living in the guest house. Why this house was being finished being built? My dad's guest house. He put it in my shoe to scare me and I didn't notice it. So then he sent me a text message and was like, oh, just make sure Chalupa, who is um, our Chihuahua who passed away, um, but the only dog we had at the time, doesn't eat these frogs out there. I found some poisonous frogs. Anyways, he built it up. So when I did find it, I screamed and I realized that it was fake. But we always like trick each other with it or put it somewhere in each other's houses. It's just like a special little thing we do. So... Somehow, one day when I'm pregnant, I'm going to incorporate it into how I tell him somehow. So that's why I'm holding on to it. That's my special frog story. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys what's in it, and I'll show you guys once I organize. This video doesn't take forever. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. All right. This is all my holiday linens. It just needs to be, like, folded, basically. All right. Um, oh. Down here is all my like holiday fancy plating and stuff. It's like big sets and then some like um, sterno or <laughs> like little cookers and warmers. Down here is some of our wedding china. Oh, I want to buy, we need like 12. We should have 12. They're $139 back in 2005. They actually still make it. One day when I'm rich, I'll go buy it all. <laughs> but for now, we have exactly two, no, three sets um, from our wedding. And these are the Kate Spade glasses. I haven't even used them because I'm so paranoid. I'm going to break them. But we do, we do use that china and always rebox it because there's not that much. And these are just some wine glasses I pull out when people come over. I feel like I'm heavy breathing because I'm, <laughs> I'm like bending over, <laughs> like bending in half and trying to talk. And my boobs are choking my throat out. Hold on. And here I have some stuff I know I don't use I'm going to be getting rid of. <sighs> but so, and then some holiday stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll put that in like a garage sale pile, some of the stuff. Ugh, anyway, all right. This one is dusted out. Nothing in there is going. I threw away a bunch of stuff in here. These are like holiday candles, Christmas stuff. Uh, these two are part of our Christmas decorations. I keep them back to keep them safe because they're white. Um, I have family in the military. When they're overseas, we hang that. Um, our timer we use sometimes. Some Halloween stuff. Don't judge me. I'm saving my favorite Christmas tapes that were our family listened to when I was little. Um, 
because either one day I'm going to have a tape player again, or I'm actually probably what's going to happen is um, make, that's to help me remind what songs I want to download and like make a, a compilation CD or put it on my iPod, I don't know. Um, so that's why I'm saving those. But I got a lot of stuff over here, a houseware stuff to donate. Holy cow. This thing sticks. I have all this space now. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not going to fill it because, well, I might put this in here actually. This is our warmer for, hold on. I actually added our holiday warmer and an extra vase I have. And then during the holidays, I can fit these down into here when I have my Christmas stuff out. Um, because this is an antique and it's solid wood, it kind of shifts and acts crazy. So then over here, I just have this stuff left out. I'm pretty much going to put it back um, for now because I'm still waiting to frame this and this is the only drawer I know it won't get ruined in. And then this is more hollow. I'm actually going to donate this. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, so... I got um, this everything like folded and then I just have some Christmas dishes here but this is mostly just linens. I don't really have anywhere else to put those. Um, there's nowhere they really fit so I just leave them in here but this is like holiday stuff that we put in the kitchen or like um, there's like I don't know a bunch of different holiday linen stuff that for either in here or the kitchen so yeah that's that. Okay so the blinds have gone in the tub clean the windows. The blinds are drying. Um, again, if you're a new subscriber, I just clean my plastic blinds in the bathtub with some soap and water, then lay them out to dry. I'm using a, what the heck, there's a little blank on what these are called, a microfiber cloth to kind of pick up some of the dust. This is to be used with um, the seventh generation wood cleaner and it conditions. And then I have a dry swift, oh god, I forgot my toothbrush. If you're like, why are you using a toothbrush? I dry dust in all these <laughs> intricate details of this furniture with a toothbrush. Then I go over with um, the polish. But when I'm doing this stuff, I do it first. That's the first thing I do is all the intricate stuff. I spray the polish onto the rag because if you spray the polish onto stuff like this, it gets in the crevices, and that's not good for the furniture either. So, I'm gonna start with one piece, work my way around, um, and then also I'm gonna pull everything out and dust under there. I, yeah, I do that once a year. But these plates, when we have like family over and stuff get used and washed, and if there's anything gross, I'll just wash it, but no matter what the occasion, like if I had 10 people over tomorrow, I would hand wash all of these before serving on them, obviously, because they've been sitting under there. And we have pets and dog hair and stuff gets under there. So I'm going to do that. After that, I'm just going to clean any scuff marks off the wall. For example, we have those with the magic eraser. And then we'll get to baseboards and floor. Okay, so walls are clean. Absolutely every single thing is done. Except the blinds aren't back up yet because for now I'm going to lay baking soda on the floors like I did with the carpet. Ralphie, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> go back out. I left a hole in the fort. Okay, go back out. I don't want them. Once I... Once I lay the baking soda, they will, like... I use it because they just, it's just, it's non toxic. It's safe for the dogs or kids. It doesn't like interrupt my asthma or, you know, anything like that. So, and it, it really deodorizes better than, honestly, Febreze. Like, it may not leave a scent behind, but it truly deodorizes. And if you have carpets like mine that are not white, but they're kind of like an, a beige or an off, it kind of brightens them. So, I'm going to lay it for an hour, and then I'm going to vacuum it up. And then I'm going to go back over with a vacuum twice. But I built this little fort area so they couldn't come back in. I want to tell you guys, I've tried a bunch of cruelty-free um, wood polishes and stuff. Um, 
I think I have the Ecos one, or I don't know if I find it, I'll show you guys. But um, this is the this is like honestly the best thing I've ever used. This is great. It cleans the wood, and I can tell it's conditioned it. This other stuff I have, like you cannot tell that like the wood just looks dry afterwards, and it doesn't leave it too slick or gross like with Pledge. Plus Pledge is tested on animals. And in the scent in it is just like a calamine, like it's a light scent. It's not overpowering like Pledge. And it's a naturally derived smell. So I don't know. I really, really like that. I'll definitely repurchase again for sure. So, all right, gonna lay the baking soda and then let it sit for an hour. This is how crazy she is. Watch what she's doing. Built this barrier and it's pointless. Okay, so <sighs> all right, I'm done. The chairs are up against the windows because of Ralph. Um, he comes and he slobbers all over these really expensive curtains. I move them when people come over, but um. He also, what was I say? Oh yeah, I'll show you guys the blinds here. At this window, and look at, this is gonna have to all be like sanded and painted before we try to sell the house. But he does that. So I put these chairs here to protect the windows. He doesn't ever do it at this window. He just slobbered all over my curtains, so I hide them with the chairs. and. He doesn't have any interest in the chairs unless it's that window, so I turn him the other way, then he just stays out of it. So I also forgot to mention that I clean the air vents and the lighting, the chandelier. I'm, is that a chandelier? I don't know. The light fixture. I feel like that's not a chandelier. Um, I clean that. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything in this room. Baseboards, carpet. Smells nice clean, deodorized. Okay guys, that's the end of our... What room are we in? That's the end of the dining room video. I will see you guys tomorrow and we will be working on my entryway and the little tiny half bath and we have a closet in the entryway. So hopefully I'll get done in one day probably, but we do have tile. Oh. So I'll see you guys then, bye!